Hi everybody and welcome back. In this lecture we're going to be talking about how to convert numbers to strings and we're also going to combine some of, the, some of the things that we've learned over the previous lectures. So one of the most common things to do not just in Python but in any programming language is to use variables within a message. But what happens when the variable is a number? Well let's take a look and see. So let's start off with our name Single, open and closing single quotes, Tony dot title to uppercase that when we need to. Now let's put in our date variable. So date today equals. Now, because we're putting in a number, we don't need to surround that in opening and closing quotes, single or double. So today is date 24. And now let's put in a welcome message to ourselves. So welcome. Now, and let's use concatenation here to combine the, the couple of variables that we've created. So let's start off with our opening closing double quotes. Hi, space, plus name. So it inserts our name, plus. Now we'll add in our welcome message. So opening closing quotes. Welcome back. Today's and we can use a single quote here because we've opened this piece of string with a double quote. And we're going to close it with a double quote, as you can see here. So welcome back. Today's date is the now concatenate. And we add in our date today variable. Date today plus open and closing double quotes space of October. And there we go. And let's finish this off with a, with a print statement. Now, so we're telling Python to print out our welcome message. And let's have a look at that. Well, as we can see here, our welcome message once again is hi, plus our name variable, which is Tony. Then we have our welcome message. So plus welcome back. Today's date is the plus day today, which is 24 of October. So let's print this and see how it runs. And we can see down here in the bottom left hand corner, the computer has said no. So if anybody is familiar with the comedy sketch show in the UK, Little Britain, you will know this by heart. The computer says no, no matter what you do, you get a no. So why has the computer said no? Well, down here in our error message, we can see that we can't convert an integer, which is our value 24, into a string. So what Python is doing here is that it expects today's date to be a string. So we expect Python to insert the variable date today into our string, but instead it gave an error. So in this instance, Python knows that we have a variable with the value of 24, but what it doesn't know is how to interpret that value to Python that variable could be either the numerical value of 2, 4, or simply the characters 2 and 4. When you want to insert integers into a string, you need to tell Python to use the integer like a string. And this can be done very simply with the STOR for string method. And that method looks like this. STOR, and like all other methods, open and closing brackets. This method tells Python to represent non-string values, such as integers, as strings. So let's insert this method into our welcome message above. So now we're going to tell Python to treat the variable date today as just any other string. And let's print our string again. And there we go. And actually I've missed a space here. So let me just add that in space and run it again. So here we go. Hi, Tony, welcome back. Today's date is the 24th of October. Now Python knows that we want to convert the variable value of 24 to a string and display the characters to 4. So that's a good example of everything that we've learned so far. I hope that helped and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to contact me in the Q&A section and I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture. Thank you.